Metal roofs offer many advantages compared to other roofing materials. They have impressive longevity, are durable, energy efficient, and environmentally friendly. Ensuring your metal roof is installed correctly makes a huge impact on how weather tight it is. Fasteners Plus will be covering the do's and don'ts of screwing down metal roofs so you can take the guesswork out of the installation and avoid leaking points. The first steps in the installation of metal roofing is choosing the correct pull barn screws. It is critical to choose a roofing screw that is designed to fit your application. Metal to metal roofing screws fasten metal roof panels to structural metal. Metal to wood roofing screws are created to fasten metal roofing panels to wood purlins or other structures in the application. Metal roofing screws typically have a self-drilling tip that acts as its own drill bit. Self-drilling screws eliminate pre-drilling a pilot hole into the substrate. The screw cuts its threads and creates a hole in the material all in one action. There are several key factors to consider when installing metal roofing screws. These factors include screw placement, tightening the screw properly, tools for installation, and cleaning up after installation. Number one, screw placement. A common question when installing corrugated metal panels is where to place them. Depending on who you ask, the preferred placement will vary. Many professionals install on the ribs of the panels. This is favored because the screws avoid water drainage and debris. When the screw is in the flat areas of the panel, they are guaranteed to experience more exposure to the draining water. Those who install in the flat areas of the panel prefer this for a couple reasons. They argue the screws are placed on the rib, but don't create a proper gasket. Compression due to the void under the rib. Installation on the ribs also has a higher risk of the screw pulling out during a high wind occurrence. The best solution to avoid the difficult decision of where to place the screws is verifying what the roof manufacturer specifies. Number two, tightening metal roofing screws. Over tightening the screw is the most common error made. People tend to think the tighter it is, the better. That is not the case for the design of these screws. Many metal roofing screws have a metal cap and a rubber washer. The washer is a bit smaller than the metal cap. Drill the screw until the washer expands to the edge of the metal cap and not past it. If you over tighten the washer, will have too much pressure and will either fail or break off entirely. Under tightening the screw is a mistake that can result in leak points that cause damage. If the washer can be spun after you drill the screw, it's under tightened. After some practice, it becomes easier to find how deep you need to drill the screw into the substrate. Installing metal roofing screws at an angle will not offer the desired result either. The washer won't sit flush with the roofing panel, resulting in leaking points. If this happens, back the screw out correctly and make sure the screw is straight. Number three, tools for installation. Today we used a drill, but you could also use a screw gun to make the installation of metal roofing screws go smoothly. The ideal screw gun to use should have an adjustable clutch and a depth sensing control. This is super handy for constant drilling. The adjustable torque will help ensure the screws are tightened correctly. Matching the speed of the drill to the material or screw type will set you up for success. If you have any additional questions about how to install a metal roofing screw, please give us a call.